I'm going to tell you, all that testing and not one of these meters failed. Yeah, we need to blow something up to make up for this. Yeah, I got the urge to blow something up. So what do you think? Any of these meters here can withstand 4kV? I don't know. I say we give them a try. All these meters have at least one function still active. Let's see if we can knock out a few. Maybe get them down to zero functions. Here we have the South Wire 12 zero seven zero T the only thing that currently works on this meter is the AC and the DC volt every other function has been damaged let's run this at uh, 4 kV and we'll see if we can finish it off Of course the scope's got a cow. <laughs> Stupid LaCroix <laughs> with their auto cow. I don't think we're gonna damage this. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Couple more hits here. <laughs> oh, did you see that spark up here? Let's see if it'll do that again. Look right behind the LCD right here. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's it for the south wire. <laughs> here we have the Anova 3320. Some features on this meter still work. Continuity diode test still works. I don't know. Let's see how it'll handle 4kV. Of course the LaCroix's got a cow again because it saw another transient. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Oh, came back to life here. Yeah, she just doesn't want to pop. <laughs> Continuity sort of kind of works. You can see it reads like 80 ohms now. Yeah, dial check is dead. Yeah, I think we're finished. <laughs> it wouldn't even make a good continuity tester. It doesn't beep. I'm going to say this one is totally dead the Tech Power TP40. So the only thing that works on this right now is the AC and DC voltages, but they have a huge offset to them. I don't know why. Let's just see if it'll handle 4,000 volts. Of course the LaCroix's got a cal again because it's saw another transient. Such a nice scope. It's too bad they can't figure out how to cal it. Ooh, nice sound there. <laughs> Definitely drew some current. Hey. Something's definitely breaking down in it. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I think we just killed her. Yep, 
So I'm putting out the uh, 220 volts rectified right now. You can see our DC is now completely dead. Yep, so that's it for this meter. Here we have the other tech power. This is the TP2844R. The only thing that function on this meter is the frequency counter. Every other function is completely dead. Let's just see here. Hertz. Well, that's interesting. So right now, it's not even reading the uh, frequency. Yeah, let's give her some hits here. See how it does. This worked last time. Uh, just running a AC sine wave into it and could still read the 60 Hertz. Oh, still can. So yeah, no further damage. We'll let it live. <laughs> Here we have the Klein Tools MM2000. This meter has developed a very large offset and gain change for the AC voltage. It reads about two times the input voltage for some reason. Let's see if it'll survive 4,000 volts. You know how this meter loves to reset. Uh, I don't think it like that. <laughs> that didn't sound good. <laughs> think it'll come back. Whew. I think we got to put it back in DC mode here. Oh yeah, that should be uh, you know 15 volts AC here. And see, it's not even reading a volt anymore. It does read frequency though. Uh, it does read DC voltage. Yeah, that's not good. So the resistance is off now. Yep. But it still's got but it still has a few working functions. We'll let it live. It's the Amprobe AM530. Again it has uh, voltage and resistance offsets. It's actually a pretty tough meter. You know, this and the Klein. Klein I don't like just because it resets all the time. In my opinion, it's a pretty poor design. It should at least recover from it. So again, this is a 15 volts AC applied. See it's off a little bit. And this is uh, 17 volts DC applied. Slightly off, but really not that bad. Frequency seems to work. It's a 10 meg resistor. 
You can see it's off quite a bit. Can't lock into it. This is a 50 ohm. You can see that reads fine still. Continuity test still works. Capacitance reading still seems to work. Temperature input seems to work. Yeah, really. Most of the functions are still okay on this amp probe. It's just off on the scales and, you know, a few little minor issues here and there. But really, it's holding up pretty good to these tests. This is the Circuit Test DMR6550. The only thing that doesn't work on this meter is the temperature input. Let's see how it handles 4KV. That didn't sound good. <laughs> Something's breaking down in there. <laughs> May have a little spark gap in there. That's what we're hearing. I can see it's drawing a mess of current. Still reads frequency. There's our 15 volts AC. Looks pretty good. And our 17 volts DC. Looks good. Here's our 10 meg. Spot on. Okay, so this is the Southwire 12070T. Again, this meter has just failed. It no longer powers up. It was damaged at 4,000 volts, at 100 microsecond full width half height, a 1 microsecond rise, and a 2 ohm source impedance. What's interesting about this meter, first of all, notice on the back, again, this meter is uh, UL listed. Cat 3, 1000 volt rated. Cat 4, 600 volt. Again, we're only testing across these two inputs here. This meter has completely failed. The case construction on this is actually quite nice. You can see it uses a large fuse style here for the, uh, the 10 amp. Connectors are actually quite rugged. But, yep, in the end, it couldn't survive. And unfortunately, for it, you know what happens to these kind of meters. So, let's just see how it handles 13,000 volts. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Yeah. That's in the off mode. Let's try it in a ohms mode here and let's see what it does. different area down here mm -hmm. it's definitely arcing under the circuit board let's put it in volts mode
Same area. Speed temperature. That's some crazy arcing. This is the Innova 3320. Again, it's totally non-functional at this point. Got some nice high voltage resistors in here. Wasn't enough to save it. Again, you'll see this meter. It says uh, IEC 2004 UL listed. Of course, it's only a Cat 2 600 volt. Held up fairly well for low voltage testing. Let's see how it does at uh, 13,000 volts here. <laughs> yeah, parts just went flying everywhere. the back off of the main IC here. Yeah, this diode down here is blown to pieces. You can smell it burning in here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. Look at the damage. <laughs> Let's try one of these battery test modes with it. That's a cheap meter. <laughs> 